Happy Tuesday. So I was just editing yesterday's vlog and I was kind of talking about how I had anxiety and a panic attack. I'm like, I shouldn't post that because that's personal, but I think a lot of people like that have anxiety and stuff like that, like, I don't know. It's like, you can't talk about it. And people who don't have it, sorry if I'm squinting, the sun's in my face. People who don't have it don't understand. And it's just like, it's something like when it happens, it's like internal and it's so hard. Like if, I don't know, exactly like you're at work and you have anxiety attack because you can't be like, I'm having anxiety attack. I don't know, it's just weird, hard to express. But I'm feeling a lot better. Um, seeing Brandisha and Aaron Bear helped a lot. Cause I felt like, oh, I left, so I should stay home, but they made me feel better. They're like therapy and medicine. And I bought stuff, so that made me feel better too. And I know I'm on a delay, but I'm super sorry that there's not gonna be a vlog up tonight. I accidentally uploaded two vlogs on Sunday. So now I'm literally like a day behind and yellow light, bread and butter, bread and butter, bread and butter, YOLO. If you say that while you go under a red light, you're good. It doesn't count. Oh, uh, yeah, I feel bad there's no vlog tonight, but I double uploaded on Sunday. So I'm still editing yesterday's vlog because it was like 18 minutes long, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you edit, you just kinda, okay. When I first learned to edit, like it would take me like almost an hour to edit each vlog, like it was crazy. But as I got used to it and I can edit really fast, it takes about double the time of footage to edit, plus a little more. So if it's like a 10 minute vlog, it'll take 20 minutes to edit. That's just an example. But if it's like a random one, like not random, but like, if it's not all straight up talking and I pause a lot or I'm all over the place to just, I'm not complaining, but it takes, it takes a little while. And I woke up late today. Well, not late, but I snoozed. So I, I wasn't able to finish yesterday, editing yesterday's vlog. I don't even think I'm 10 minutes through editing because it was a lot of dead space. Because that's what happens, like sometimes I'm just filming, especially like when I'm out with the girls, I'm just filming things. I film a lot, but like 80% of it's either dead space of just walking around or talking about nothing or talking about things that I don't think they would appreciate that I post. Not like, you know, you know, some things you just gotta keep to yourself. Those kind of vlogs, they take like double and a half, triple time to edit. And it's 9.17, I'm not on the highway yet. I need to be where I need to be by 9.30. Not sure, YOLO. Bread and butter, bread and butter, bread and butter. I'm not sure if it's gonna happen, but at the rate that everyone's driving this morning, it's not but it's the best day ever, so we're over it. And then we need to come home after work and get our ish together because Rookie Bear, I think she's coming tomorrow. What is that noise? It's not a good, I don't, maybe, oh. It's the construction guy. Ha ha ha. They've been doing construction here for like 18 years. I need to vacuum and clean up so she doesn't think, you know, I'm gross. Even though my house isn't gross, I just hold myself to a very high standard. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna listen to some music. I'm gonna rock out. It's a commercial. I don't know that song. People are talking. Talk to you later. Hola, mi gente. I'm the worst parent on the face of the earth. It's like after eight o'clock and I'm just getting home. And my poor Bubbles, he's been in there all day. He's probably so depressed and hungry and scared. Tali's sleeping. But I had to take care of mommy business. And I have to look up all the stairs. 
And I have a package. Let's see if he's sleeping. Hi, my bubbles. How are you? It is hot in here. How are you, my hunty? Did you have the best day ever? Tell me what you did today. Sit. Yes, uh-uh. Sit. That's a good boy. Yes, my bubbles. How was your day? You don't want to give me some, some sugar? Hi, my bubbles. Hi. Hi. Give me the kisses. Are you mad at me? Are you mad at me? But you got something in the mail today. You got something in the mail. No, you can't. Give me the, give me the kisses. I want all the kisses. Oh, you smell like puppy. You smell like puppy. Oh, thank you for the kisses in my arm. I don't ever want to let you go. I love you so much. I missed you, my bulbs. Why can't I take you to work with me? You are a service pup. We're gonna get you some, we're gonna get you certified and I'm gonna take you everywhere and you can be a service pup. I don't know what you do, but you make me feel like I have less anxiety. So maybe you could be a psychological pup. Do you wanna be free? Say please. <laughs> he doesn't know. He doesn't. <laughs> I just put that down, and I guess he doesn't like it. I think he's OCD. Um, when I change stuff, he gets upset. Honey, why are you mad? It's just a basket. It's okay. It's a basket. <laughs> oh my bulb is just a basket. He went all the way under the couch. Honey. <laughs> so now I'm an, I'm a jerk. <laughs> Honey, it's okay, my bulb. It's okay. It's just a basket. Where'd you go? I see you. The basket's actually for you, hunty. I'm gonna put all your toys in it. I went to Bed Bath & Beyond and that was just a really bad idea. I got a bed skirt. I'm getting a new bed. Well, not a new bed. I say a new bed, I'm just getting a new bed set. Man hooks, because I realized that I should have got two for over there. But I couldn't remember what the one that I bought looked like from Target, so I just bought two so they match. It's okay, my bubbles. You want to come see the basket? It's okay. We're going to put all your toys in here, honey. It's just a basket. It's a basket. See, look. It's a drum. It's a drum. That's his disgusted bark when he goes. <laughs> it's just a basket, my. He really doesn't like this basket. Look, we're gonna put all the toys in the basket. Look, we're gonna put all the Bentley's toys in there. Why is there like porn music on the background? Put all the toys in the basket for the bulbous. Look at that. I don't do stuff because I'm crazy. I did it. I did it for you, my bobas. He's gonna go potty. Oh, that's my good boy. Good potty. Yay, my 
your ball unless you go back to go to your party. You are so smart and you are so kind. You get a treat. You can have some Louisiana crab jerky. Good, good. Is this for Bentley's? No, I think this is a cell phone case. You want to open it? No? No, it's for me. It's mine. It's mine. It's not for you. Can I have my styrofoam, please? Because that's not for you, hunty. I didn't know it had like a back to it. I don't like it. Look how cheap it is. It's already falling apart. Oh no, it's not. It's so, oh wait, no, I take that back. Bulbas! No, I, I don't want you to eat styrofoam. We're gonna do what the baby book said to do. We will trade. Because according to the puppy book, you're supposed to negotiate with the terrorist. Leave, chop it. Drop it. Thank you, my bubbles. The puppy in the mirror doesn't want to play with you. Sit. Sit. She has my bubbles. Lay down. <laughs> I miss you, my bubbles. No. This is for me. I just made such a mess. And I'm having company tomorrow. So, I'm having company tomorrow. Excuse my hair, I just got the shower. I need to vacuum, because I'm OCD. Like, even though she's my best friend from New York, y'all know Brooke, she moved back to New York from here. I have to vacuum, and I wanted to do this earlier, but it's 12 o'clock, so I just have to do it. And hope that no one can hear it. And if you can hear it, I'm so sorry. It'll never happen again. Maybe. He's getting used to the vacuum, but he's really not about that life. He's like, I see you putting your your paw on the trigger. Because you have paws. I don't like what's going to happen. That was so much fun. Right, Bentley's? Yeah, so. Oh, this came today. I'm so excited. It's the Visanti... Brighten up enzymatic face rejuvenator with microderm crystals. I love this stuff. Love it. I got it in, why did I just touch my face? I got it in one of the birch boxes. My friend got me a birch box subscription for my birthday. And there was a sample size in there and it gave my face life. And I finished the sample. So, I ordered the full size. It wasn't bad, it was like 30 bucks, but I feel like it's worth it. I feel like it really scrubs and brightens up your face. And that's what I'm trying to do. Get a glowing, even skin tone. I should probably just drink some damn water or do the same thing for free. For free, not to not. Bye, empty sample. I, like, had to leave it out so I remember to order it. If that makes any sense. Me and the Wobbles would call it night because this way past her bedtime. Say bye to all of your friends, my bubs. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.